Doom Joker. Guess what <laughs> we have today? What's that? I got a treat for you. Okay. We got two of your clan members battling it out. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. We got Doomtron as the Protoss and uh, Doom Electro's Terran. They're both diamond players and they are both my clan duking it out for bragging rights. Let's get mm -hmm. after it. I've got a I've got a quick question for you. What's that? Okay, so we got we got X Doom X Tron <laughs> at the bottom left. Yeah. And then we just have Doom X Electro. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what's the deal with that, bro? Well, it's it's definitely supposed to be X Doom X Tron, and um, apparently Electro is just better than everyone. He's like, you know what? Screw uh, it. I'm gonna go against society and and make my own deal. So he's kind of like a sub clan. He's like okay. a mini clan in the clan, a couple like rogue ninjas, you know? Oh, sweet. Yeah, sweet. so that's basically what he's about. But he's still considered family, of course. Yep, yep, still in the brotherhood. I like it, I like it. It's, it's a Terran, you know? They, <laughs> Terran they are always, a little, bit, they're always a little bit off-key, you know? Yeah, I totally agree. They're so independent. Yeah, and we see actually Tron with over 300 APM at the moment. Getting, getting ready for that intense... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Micro. And uh, we don't see any like super unorthodox plays so far. By the way, I am, I, by the way, I am Iwin Quaffle, mm -hmm. and uh, as I've already introduced, my uh, co-caster is Doom Joker. Doom Joker, right here, and uh, this is coming from Why So Serious Starcraft on YouTube. Check it out. Subscribe. Yep, yep. If you're watching this, you're probably already there. So all you have to do is look up. If you're currently full screen, I suggest you go to mini screen. Um, I would give you directions on how to do that, but <laughs> you know, I don't have it in front of me. I'm actually just watching the game at the moment. But uh, I respect you for watching this and listening to us. And I forgot the point that I started with this. Oh yes, sub subscribe. It's, yep, it's above. Subscribe. It's above the title somewhere up there. Yes, uh, and uh, this is a live game. We do do replays, so if anyone wants to send the replays yeah. to whyselfserious.quaffle at gmail.com, we will cast your replays, but we do a lot of live games, so we definitely don't know what's going to be happening here. Yep, yep. And uh, so far, we got a pretty standard game so far. We did see Tron delay the barracks by about three seconds at Electro's ramp. And then... Um, but he eventually got it down. He's actually throwing down a tech lab before anything else. So this probe is going to be able to see that. He uh, he now s scouts the tech lab. It just uh, depends on what's going to come out. Actually, a marine. Huh. What do you think about that, Joker? I'm not sure if he's going to go just the quick marine to uh, snipe this probe, maybe throw out a reaper, or I'm not sure what he's going to go with this tech lab. Oh, looks looks like looks like he has a marauder queued up and yep. stim on the way. So it's pretty fast stim coming. Um, very fast. Yeah. Very fast. It's so actually, it's it's you know that's probably the fastest stem I played Protoss, but that seems like the fastest stem you could possibly do straight to uh, Tech Lab and get stem ASAP. Yeah, that's a really fast stem. I don't know how effective he's, it's going to be because he's not going to have the uh, barracks and the the units to be able to back that up. But uh, I don't know. Yeah. And it does look like uh, the Marine was supposed to kill off the scouting probe to prevent any type of. Uh, to see what's going to come out of that tech lab, but the Tron had some uh, really good fancy juking going on. Nice. And was able to scout that Marauder. And actually, we see a quick command center go down by Electro, so it's actually going to be a an aggressive expansion. Uh, cool. Stim seems like a very aggressive upgrade. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I think he would be if he got Stim that fast, he'd be doing a little bit of harass maybe on Tron's base. But if he's going for the command center, we'll see. Yeah, and back in uh, Tron base, we see an expansion going down at the natural. Uh, it looks like it was a two gate expand, so he's uh, it's a rather economical opening. Uh, the two gates just gives you a little bit more security and flexibility on what's going to come out. We see this a lot from TT1. If uh, anybody is a fan of him, uh, that's a rather common uh, PDT opening for him. Yeah, and we did, uh, Electro did scout that, so we did set that up, so we should be feeling a little bit safe to drop this CC once it's done, knowing that there's not going to be a whole lot of pressure soon. Uh, I would, 
I would like to see concussive shells come out next from Electro and definitely put on pressure for a concussive shell with once concussive shells finishes I'd like to see him um, begin his engagement because right now it looks like Tron is uh, very economically stable. Mm -hmm. And Electro is thrown down another barracks with a tech lab. He is pumping out Marauders. Marauders out of that one as well. Throwing down a factory. So he's going to have a total of three racks in a factory. We'll see what he puts on. Do you think he's going to put another tech lab on that? Other racks? He could. Uh, I think it's going to be a reactor though. For Marines. Get, add a little bit of a, a little bit extra DPS in there. Marines do have more. It is a reactor. Nice Marines call. have more DPS than Marauders uh, because of their fire rate, not actual per shot. But uh, <laughs> Marines, are, of course, as we know, are much more fragile. Mm -hmm. And you did do a nice, a uh, nice little SCV transfer right when that command center landed. Um, and yet, yeah, mm. absolutely right with that reactor coming up, and we're gonna see. A tech lab going down on the factory, so... Yep, uh, so definitely tanks. I thought this he was going to tech straight up to Medivax, but that tech lab makes me think tanks. Possibly tanks. He's building a starport, so maybe if he is... Oh, he is going siege check. So, yep, he is going siege check right now. And it looks like Electro also. is actually going to do a little bit engagement with Tron. Tron has plenty of force fields. He should be able to pull this off as long as he sees it. Ooh, nice call, nice force field separating yeah. that army. Ooh, and Good Electro job. stims his entire army that was over there. I'd really like to point on the placement of Tron's army. Right here, he's at this very small choke. If he were to sit at his nexus, there's no way he would have been able to completely force field that army in between a choke. Nice. Uh, this choke, it takes about, it looks like, three force fields. So three force fields is much better than trying to do six force fields next to his nexus to get a, a cup. Yeah, that's a great positioning by Tron. I like that. Um, he just, I mean, Electro just poked in, had a good good response on, you know, getting out of there, knew he wasn't going to be able to fight that army. I don't really agree with the stim, you know, mm -hmm. because he doesn't have medivacs out. All those guys are yeah. going to be low on health. I think he could have got away because the force fields were down. He wasn't going to be able to chase his army down. Right. But, you know, it happened, so... Yep, it was just kind of an reaction. He probably saw that many units and was like, oh crap. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Let me get out of here. We do have Medivac coming out right now. And <clears throat> Tron has a observer over Electro's army, so he's spotting everything that's going on. He knows yes, and this is know. such an important observer. It's such, a, it's such, it's so important for Protoss to know exactly what the Terran is doing. Because if they're going to be doing heavy marine marauder, you can expect lots of drops, lots of harassment. And you need observers to know when those leave. Uh, it's tough to... Terrans are really good at hiding on where they're gonna go, but if you know when they're gonna leave, you can expect where... Uh, when they'll get there. And it looks like Tron's moving out. He thinks this might be a good time to engage after he spotted that army. I don't know if it's a good time to engage with that siege tank sieged up, but he is gonna be poking in the front door. Yep. And here comes the battle. He's throwing down nice the guardian shield. That tank is just sieging away, though. Okay, Electro's gonna be able to hold this off. Yep. Oh no, and he's gonna lose some oh, he lost I think two sentries in that battle. Um trying to throw some force fields so he can escape. Yeah, and he's actually really lucky. I really think Electro could have stimmed and killed that entire army that's there. Uh, yeah. even without that tank. So he's luck very lucky that Electro didn't chase. Yeah. He could have even if he didn't kill anything, he could have definitely forced more energy out of those Centuries. Absolutely. That's a great point. And you can see again, Tron is already setting up at that choke point so he doesn't, so he can uh, be efficient with his force field. Yeah, I like that. And we see uh, Doom Electro right now knocking down these rocks, possibly Ooh. for a little backdoor action up on Tron's base. Tron does Absolutely. have a pylon there, he should be able to spot it. And he also has the observer, by the way, over his army, so he's definitely going to be able to spot it. It looks like he sees uh, everything. We have Electro through a Hellion in his army. Mm -hmm. Couple Hellions coming out in his army. It's gonna be nice versus those zealots for sure. And a lot of people, you know, wonder as Terran, do I scan to kill that observer? The scan costs you essentially 300 minerals or 270 minerals, 
And people say, you know, oh, well, why would I spend it on something that only costs 25 minerals and 75 gas? Nope. I'll get back to that because there's a huge battle going on. Yep. Oh my gosh, Electro Folk in the front door. Nice force fields. But huge Toronto force fields. Holding off that army for a little while. Those tanks has that one rotter up there, so he does see the high ground. Ooh, but doing yeah. a little bit of shelling off. And Tron was kind of sitting in that siege tank uh, line of fire for about two extra hits than he needed to. But, uh, you know, he gets back and he's going to regenerate his shields and let the Terran come to him, which is a great choice. Yes. Does he, have ex does he have extended thermal lances? No, they are not. They're just starting right now, so it's going to be a little bit harder to fight that tank army. Um, he does have charge completing here pretty soon and another Colossi coming out. And it looks like Electro opts to uh, back off and saturate his natural a little bit better or get a little, put a couple more bunkers down or barracks down. 